You know what? You've been dieting so hard, you deserve some healthy snacks. Why don't you grab a handful of almonds, an energy bar, and wash it down with a fruit smoothie? It's healthy for you. Healthy for you. Healthy for you. Or is it? I'm willing to bet that you've been duped into thinking that you can lose weight or body fat with at least one healthy snack that I'm going to talk to you about today. There's so much misinformation about nutrition that I've been able to come up with 10 so-called healthy snacks that claim to be good for weight loss or toning up, but in reality, they're just sabotaging your fat loss efforts. Now I want you to keep in mind that any kind of food can be incorporated into your diet plan, even the unhealthy ones. However, these are foods that are deceiving because they're claiming to be super healthy, but really they have tons of hidden extra calories. Let's jump right in with number one, and that's nuts. This one is huge, so many people are messing up their diet plan right now with almonds, cashews, peanuts, walnuts, and whatever other type of nut you're having. The truth is that nuts are very calorically dense, so it's very easy to overeat them and then gain weight from that. Whenever we think of something as healthy, we kind of just allow ourselves free reign on it, if you know what I mean. A handful of nuts isn't going to tip the scale, but if you're like a lot of the clients that I've worked with, you're going to start with one handful, and then that's going to lead you to two handfuls, and oh, just one more handful because it's healthy, and then all of a sudden you wind up storing all that excess calories as fat. Nuts are just one of those snacks that are so easily accessible and you can take them with you anywhere, so it's very easy to just mindlessly reach in and eat and eat and overeat. If you still want to have nuts as a snack, then truly limit it to only one handful a day. Try to go for a really good type of nut like the walnut and make sure that it's not roasted or messed with in any way. Up next, we have dried fruit. I honestly don't even understand how people think that all dried fruit is just unanimously healthy for you because it just comes from real fruit, so it has to be, right? A lot of dried fruits are sweetened with added sugar, and a lot of times they try to disguise the sugar with ingredients like juice concentrate or a brown rice syrup or honey. This ups the calorie count without adding any kind of real nutritional value. On top of that, even with the unsweetened dried fruit, you still have the same problem as the nuts. Due to the fact that the fruit is dried, it shrinks during the dehydration process as the water is removed. So a cup of dried cranberries is going to have way more calories than a cup of real cranberries. Actually three times more, and when you sweeten it, it'll be three times more than that. For you to feel full off of a cup of real cranberries or dried cranberries, it's going to take up the same amount of volume in your stomach. It'll feel the same, but with dried fruit, you're eating at least three times the amount of calories. Dried fruit does contain a lot of good nutrients, so if you do still want to have dried fruit as a snack, Definitely go for the unsweetened ones and stick to only one handful. Next up are smoothies, and you better believe that having a smoothie as a snack can easily pack on body fat if done wrong. If you're going to cram your blender full of a bunch of healthy fruits, blend it up and call it an antioxidant smoothie, and drink it, you might as well be drinking a chocolate milkshake. Alright, I'm kidding, but calorie-wise, if you add enough fruit, your healthy fruit smoothie can easily have just as much, if not more sugar, than a milkshake. If you want to have smoothies in your diet plan as snacks or for the nutritional boost they give you, then try to stick to mostly green smoothies. Those are the best. You can add one fruit into your smoothie, like a Granny Smith apple would be great, or half of a banana for taste, but if you overkill it on the fruit, I'm telling you right now, you're going to spike your insulin levels and you're going to have a really difficult time burning fat. The next late night snack is wine. Check this out. When you truly have one serving of wine, you know, the one serving that's supposed to be great for your heart health, for that serving size, you would fill up the wine glass right up to the part where it curves up. That's it. However, let's be real here. What do most people do? We fill up the wine glass until it's literally full. And guess what? That full glass of wine will contain 600 calories. That's a major problem if you're looking to lose weight or burn fat. If you want to still incorporate the wine, then stop pouring right where the glass starts to curve up. For the next one, I know everyone's going to hate me for this, but I have to say it, dark chocolate. First, right off the bat, let me tell you that all those health benefits from dark chocolate aren't going to start until you get to the really dark varieties, like a cocoa content of 70% or higher. Now, even if you get the right dark chocolate, there are a lot better ways to get your fill of antioxidants. The average 50 gram bar of chocolate has about 15 grams of fat, and that goes without mentioning the sugar content. When you factor the sugar content into the equation, 
you clearly see that you would honestly be better off finding your antioxidants somewhere else. Let's move on to vitamin water. What a joke. You're honestly better off drinking Gatorade. I hate to break it to you, but there are hardly any vitamins in vitamin water. I mean, it sounds really good, vitamins and water, right? But in reality, most vitamin waters are loaded with sugar and any extra vitamins that they do give you are gonna already, you're already gonna be getting them from real food. So it's kind of like a waste. Look, I don't know if you guys know this, but the company that owns vitamin water is Coca-Cola, and Coca-Cola is known to make some tasty drinks that sell. They've already settled lawsuits about false advertising. Bottom line, vitamin water is something that should not be included in your plan. Next are gluten-free pretzels, and in general, I want to touch on the gluten-free craze. You guys have to understand, just because something is gluten-free, that doesn't mean that it's actually good for you. Gluten-free pretzels and most gluten-free snacks will still be composed of simple carbohydrates and many times they're even still processed. All of that will lead to a spike in your blood sugar and it'll cost the same exact amount of calories as most regular gluten-full snacks. Gluten-free doesn't mean that any sugar at all was removed. Be smart, read the nutrition label, and portion control. Now I want to talk about lunch meats, also known as cold cuts or deli meats. Now this is one that actually might help you lose weight, but keep in mind that everything that helps you lose weight is not necessarily healthy for you. After all, cigarettes can help some people lose weight, but obviously you shouldn't smoke. The International Agency for Research on Cancer classified all processed meat as a carcinogen. Now having one turkey sandwich, honestly, it probably won't kill you, but either will just having one cigarette. That doesn't change the fact that it's not healthy for you. Your best bet is staying away from lunch meats in general. Trust me, you're gonna be way better off avoiding all those processed deli cuts. Granola is another one that's not very good for you when your goal is to try to burn fat but it's constantly stuck into all kinds of health foods. It'll be in cereals and trail mix bars and you can always sprinkle some into your yogurt, right? On second thought, you're probably better off skipping out on the granola as this will just add extra calories, usually coming from sugar. Last but not least are the snacks that claim to be sugar free. This is again a situation where the words low calorie and healthy get confused. A lot of times instead of sugar, they'll add aspartame, which is another one of those funny ingredients that are linked to cancer. So those are the top 10 most misleading snacks, a lot of which you may want to completely avoid. There are other snacks that are misleading that didn't make it on my list, such as flavored Greek yogurt. Even if it's Greek yogurt, you should add in your own fruits and avoid the fruit flavor varieties. Also trail mix, many meal replacement bars, frozen yogurt, instant flavored oatmeal, light salad dressing, juices, and even sushi can all be super high in calories and can create a calorie surplus which ultimately leads you to storing fat. Your best bet is to always check the nutrition facts and make sure that whatever the so-called healthy snack is that you're trying to add into your diet actually fits into your plan. That's it. I really hope this video has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell icon so you're notified whenever I release future high quality content like this. Also, if you feel like you need some extra help, me and my team have hands-on experience with thousands of clients and I have done for you plans and programs on gravitytransformation.com that will tell you exactly what to eat and how much of it to eat and what workouts to do to speed up your fat loss. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Pump it.